Breaking news. Health scare. Are you actually spreading the flu virus by taking medicine to lower your fever? What you need to know next. The theory behind it is that having a fever is your body's way of fighting the flu. So reducing that fever reduces your body's ability to fight the flu, making you more contagious. You know, it's interesting, that last little clip you heard is not coinciding with what a lot of us think, which is right. you reduce your fever, you feel better, then you go out and socialize, and then and you spread you the fever to someone else. you're still contagious, and that's right. the problem. The question is, if you lower your fever, are you then now pretending like you're okay when you're still contagious and can transmit the, the flu, and then you go out because you're feeling better mm -hmm. and but, give it to someone but else? But the fever you get from the flu itself is not dangerous. Right. And so I think, yeah, you know, right. when we talk about fevers that are dangerous, we're talking about 106 degrees, 107 mm -hmm. degrees that, that are truly life-threatening. The whole reason we take these pills is to feel better. Right. So yeah. isn't the sentinel question here? We want to feel better. Yeah. Yeah, especially <laughs> if you're if you're a child, if you feel better, you're more likely to eat and drink and stay hydrated and, and not get sicker That's because of the true. flu. And so so, I, I so sometimes people use even cold medicine the mm -hmm. same way. Right. You kind of yeah. take a cold medicine, you feel better, or your kid stops coughing or sneezing, so you <laughs> so just send them out. Yeah, and you're like, right, get to yeah. school, so, and then you end up. So should we just tell people, classroom. look, if you need to reduce your fever to feel better. Fine, but that doesn't mean you should start going out no, and you need and to rest yeah. and well, also, you need, With kids, Jim, you can document this. With kids, I know when my kids get sick and we go to the pediatrician, they always say, do not go back to school mm -hmm. until they are at least 24 or 48 hours fever without free. having fever without, free without, without, without medication. medicine. Yeah. Without medication. Yeah, you can't just so. give them the medicine, oh, your fever's oh, down, right. go to school. <laughs> right, <exactly. laughs> but the one thing that this is, it. is in many ways we're telling people, look, you don't have to reach for the medicine cabinet immediately. It really is just about trying to feel better. And traditionally, mm -hmm. it was always, oh my God, we got to shoot the fever, we got to shoot the fever. Mm -hmm. And that, that really isn't the case in many scenarios. And, yeah, and just, yeah. a, just a quick add on, um, these are grapes, by the way. It's believed that there are um, antioxidants, things like and flavonoids, like a resveratrol and other things that can actually help naturally reduce your fever. So some people actually take to grapes, but the grape juice, you and I agree, Travis, no. Too much All sugar, sugar in there. Stay hydrated and, and mm -hmm. just Stay eat hydrated, yeah. decrease too many you know. sugars. And rest. And oh, it's rest. Great. rest. Yeah, if you rest. feel so, so crappy, you know, treat it, but otherwise. So, so really quickly before we go to break, it is important. When you start talking about a fever that's dangerous for a child, Jim, I mean, you really are. You're starting to talk about yeah. those numbers, the 105, 105, 106. That's when we see the seizures, which even a, a seizure from a fever still isn't that big of a deal in most cases, but it's scary. It and, is and anything to do with kids other than providing them medicines to, to help them feel better when they're suffering from something like the flu? Hydra hydration, you know, that's the main thing because when kids get the flu, you know, that can be bad, but it's when they get dehydrated from the flu, that's when... What do you recommend bad. to parents when they should start getting worried as far as how long they actually have the fever? You know, it's, it's, we always say, it, it's not really, we don't treat a number, we treat the child. You know, if the child is running around happy and playful but has 103, I don't worry about that as much as a child with a 101 and is lethargic. Gotcha. So it's more about how they're acting. Sure. And remember, yeah. when you vaccinate yourself against the flu, you're also protecting your kids.